Hey guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies here today. I'm talking about the EasyBox Max from DAB. So the EasyBox Max is a constant pressure variable speed pump system that is capable of 40 gallons per minute at 75 PSI, 50 gallons a minute at 55 PSI, and even 60 gallons a minute at about 35 PSI. So it is a high flow uh, like I said, constant pressure pump with a VFD drive. Whenever you use a VFD, there's not a need for a large pressure tank and pressure switch. It is all integrated within the pump. When you open a tap somewhere for irrigation or for in-home use, or if you're using this in any capacity, whether that be a car wash or a laundromat or some sort of a large condominium or RV park, the pump knows to turn on and it will uh, speed up and slow down to meet your demand while holding the same pressure that you set. There's a screen on the pump that is consistent with the entire line of EasyLine products from DAB where you essentially just punch buttons here to make pressure change settings and other settings on the pump. In order to change the pressure on this particular pump or any of the EasyLine pumps, you hold down the mode and set button for about five seconds and PSI will come up on the screen. You then use the up or down arrow to get the pressure setting that you want and hit set. And it will hold that PSI pressure until you change it in the future. Um, so again, it makes it a, really a replacement for some of the standard traditional setups where you have a really large pressure tank and then a single speed pump. These pumps are designed to uh, take up very little space. As you can see, it's got a small footprint. It sits on a docking station. So when you purchase a single EasyBox Max 60 120, which is this particular model, you'll see that uh, you get the single docking station with it. The pump is set up so that it has two inch female connections and it comes with one and a quarter inch reducer bushings that you may elect to use if you need to reduce down. Uh, the water comes in on the inlet, which can either be here on the back side where I'm pointing or on the opposite side where I'm pointing. The outlet is on the front side or on the front side here. The configuration of the inlet outlet can be done in a number of different ways and there's a document that comes with the pump that shows you how that can be configured. Uh, you can essentially come in here with the inlet and out here. You can come in here with your water and out here. You can come in on this side and come out on the front here. Or you can come in on this side. Again, this is the inlet. And you can come out on the front left. So there's lots of different ways you can do that. This pump is also available in a, an 85 slash 120 version. Now this version of the 60 slash 120 is a single phase 208 to 240 volt, which makes it much more common in, uh, in a residential type setting. Uh, if you need three phase power, you're going to want to go with the 85 slash 120, and that's going to be available in 380 to 480 volt power. So again, the, the docking station is a product that when you make the purchase, it actually comes with it. And it looks like this. This is a single dock. You can also get it in a twin dock or a triple dock. And what happens is when you install two of these pumps, rather than getting, say, 50 gallons a minute at 55 PSI, you're essentially doubling your flow rate when you install another pump on a twin dock, and so they're essentially connected together. You're doubling your flow rate. So that gives you 100 gallons per minute at the same pressure of 55 PSI. And consequently, you also have triple the flow rate if you do a triple dock. So uh, again, 50 gallons per minute at, uh, I think I said 55 PSI, 100 gallons a minute if you do a twin at the same pressure, and then 150 gallons per minute if you do a triple uh, at the same pressure. Uh, the pump has the ability for you to interact with it either via the screen that we've talked about here on the front of the pump, where you punch the buttons and you change the settings. Things like um, uh, there's an anti-freeze, an anti-cycling, uh, other features within the pump that you can change uh, that you may need to tweak uh, as needed. And you can interact with that interface there on the front of the pump, or there's a deconnect app that you can install on your phone 
and you may actually make the setting changes remotely. Uh, it does require that you link the app to this particular pump. This pump, uh, the EasyBox Max 60 120, at the flow rates that I just described, is a higher flow and pressure than if you were to say have two of these Easy Boxes that you may be familiar with. The Easy Box is capable of 15 to 20 gallons per minute at around 60 PSI, where uh, if you were to twin this pump together, you can double the flow rate at about 45 PSI if you had say 40 gallons per minute. And if you'll remember, the EasyBox Max 60 120 can do higher pressure, 40 gallons per minute at about 75 PSI. So uh, if you were to use this pump, it's more than having uh, two of those together. Now, another thing to consider about this pump and to know about this pump is that uh, the amperage draw and the energy usage is really low. So 14 and a half to 15 and a half amps at the single phase 208 to 240 volt is all that's required to run this pump. It is incredibly quiet. In fact, it is the most quiet pump that DAB offers to date. Uh, there is a lifting lug, which is on the top here. It's a relatively heavy pump. Uh, one person can lift it, but uh, it's easier to have two people carry it. Or there's a lifting lug, lug here that you can hook onto and move it with a piece of uh, machinery if you need to. The fill port is also on the top. There's a cover that I have removed. And uh, when you need to put water in the pump, uh, you do so from here. And the electrical connection is up here as well. There is a place here with a cable gland where you run your, your um, electricity in and you make your connections to the terminal just under the lid. Uh, the other thing I should probably mention is it does come with a tool that is connected here to the back side of the pump. And this tool allows you to open and close the inlet and outlet as you can see I'm doing here. This is the inlet. When you connect your pump to the docking station, it sits down and makes a watertight sealed connection here for the inlet. And then the outlet, which you can also remove with this tool, uh, is here. Uh, there is uh, another use for this tool, and that is to lock this into place. You can see how these clamps actually lock the pump down once you've made your uh, connections. And then uh, if you need to re remove the pump from the base, you do that with the same tool. And then it just stows away nicely uh, out of view. So the, again, this is the EasyBox Max 60-120 from DAB. Single phase 208 to 240 volt is incredibly uh, quiet, can be used in lots of different scenarios. Uh, it has a two year warranty. And uh, this pump is uh, very sm small as far as the footprint goes. So if you're looking to install it in a, in a uh, location in a mechanical room uh, where it doesn't take up much space, uh, this is an ideal option for you. If you'd like to find out more information about these pumps or if you need assistance, uh, choosing the correct pump for your application, feel free to give us a call at 877-331-7008 or you can check out either of our websites, rainwaterequipment.com or rainharvestingsupplies.com.